If you've ever wanted to run the Macintosh operating system without actually forking out the big bucks for a Mac computer, then this is the video for you. A lot has changed in the two years since I released my first video on how to install OS X on a PC. And in this updated video, I'll show you how I went about installing 10.5 Leopard onto my HP TM2 tablet computer. This guide is meant for experimental purposes only. If you really wish to use the Macintosh operating system, buy a Mac and don't violate the software licensing agreement. INET does not condone software piracy. three things you're going to need in order to make this work. The first, of course, is a PC that's supported by Mac OS X. Now I'm going to be using the HP TM2 tablet in this guide, but you can use a system of your choice. You might want to check out osx86projects.org to see if your computer is compatible, or just wing it and see how it goes. The second thing you're going to need is an OS X install image. Now I'm going to be using the iAtcos version 7 which is a modified version of the Mac OS X 10.5.7 distribution. It's been modified with patches so you can boot it on a PC. The third thing you're going to need is an external DVD drive, as the HP TM2 does not have a built-in optical drive. Now there are ways to install Mac OS X from a bootable USB thumb drive, however I'm not going to cover that in this particular video. In this guide, I'll be concentrating on how to install OS X, and I won't really be going through how to install Windows or Linux on the same computer. Just keep in mind that if you do want multiple operating systems on your PC, then you install OS X last, as we need the Chameleon bootloader to boot Macintosh. As always, back up your system before starting the installation, as, it's going to, as this install is going to destroy all data on your hard drive. Once you've downloaded and burned your Mac OS X installation DVD, um, you can go through and partition your hard drive using your favorite partitioning tool. At this point, if you're wanting to install Windows or Linux, go ahead and do that now, or you can jump straight into the Macintosh installation. Boot off of the installation DVD, but just before the system starts to load, quickly press F8. That will allow you to enter advanced booting mode. At the prompt, enter CPUS equals 1. That will prevent your system from causing a kernel panic and, and allow you to fully install the system. The system will start to load and wait until the select language screen appears. Accept the license agreement and bring yourself to the select destination screen. Now at this point, if you haven't formatted your Mac OS X partition using the Macintosh file system, it's not going to appear in, your, uh, in the installer window. At this point, you'll have to go to the Utilities menu and select Disk Utility and erase just the partition and make sure it's formatted as Mac OS Extended. Make sure you don't erase your entire hard drive when you're doing this, as you're going to have to start from scratch again if you're installing multiple operating systems. Once your partition has been erased and formatted as the Mac OS journaled file system, you can go through and select it in your installer window and continue. On the next screen, select Customize and install the following patches. Make sure you install the Chameleon bootloader, the Apple PS2 drivers, as well as the USB drivers, Realtek R1000 Ethernet controller, disabler, AHCI, which is found under the SATA drivers, laptop battery, and Voodoo HDA audio drivers. Now keep in mind that these patches are required to get the TM2 laptop up and running, and your system might require different ones. Go ahead now and click install to install your system. It should take about half an hour to complete. Once it's done, you're going to want to restart your computer. And when you're booting up again, you want to make sure that you start it with the CPUS equals one flag again, otherwise your system is going to crash. To do that, just hit any key when the Chameleon bootloader pops up, and type in the appropriate information. Once your system starts, uh, you'll be led through a series of prompts uh, to set up your system, after which time you should be brought to your desktop. Now at this point, it's a good idea to test drive your system and see if some of your most important drivers are working. At this point, your webcam, 
your Ethernet card, your USB ports, as well as your audio output should all be fully functional. A couple more system modifications are available if you visit tm2osx.info. Download the extra package and unzip it to your desktop. From that point, you want to use Keyext Helper or OSX86 Tool, which are both available as free downloads to install the Intel GMAX 3100 Keyects. The second thing you're going to want to do is replace your com dot apple dot boot dot plist file uh, with the one that was in the extras folder which you downloaded. That file is, can be found in the system library preferences system configuration folder. After you've done both of those tweaks you're going to want to restart your system and as it's booting up you should notice that it applies the proper resolution 1280 by 1084 um, as well as you don't have to enter the CPUs equals one prompt every time you boot. So this tutorial should get you up and running on a basic Mac OS X system. Unfortunately there are no wireless drivers for the particular card that's in the HP TM2 as of yet, uh, and there are still a couple of issues with uh, restart and sleep. However, this will get you uh, up and running with a basic Hackintosh system. For INET, this is Christopher Reporting.